Hello, welcome back to Father of Two Plays The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Last time, we had to kill a priest of the Eternal Fire who didn't like that we had found out about his fist tech dealing business. And then, we came to the Peller's Hut and had to rescue him from a group of guards or possibly bandits. Probably the same thing if they work for the Bloody Baron who thought he was responsible, the Peller, for their friend's misfortune, having prescribed the wrong treatment. We offered them our own treatment, and then the Peller told us that if we wanted to learn what we needed to from him, we would have to get his goat back, Princess. So now, we're on a quest for said Princess. Shouldn't be too far away, I hope. Oh, and I have a... Yeah, there we go. Okay. I should probably kill anything I run into that's uh, hostile along the way, because... They'll probably kill Princess. Do I have beast oil? Oils. Looks like it. I think it's this one. No, that's specter oil. Beast oil. So we'll put it on that sword. Stuff. That went well. No actual hits, just our Quen shield got taken out. The oils really help on this difficulty. Um, I guess we're looking for goat prints. This way, I think. Oh, well, I hear her. Oh, we got something else over here too, though. Let's go check it out. Probably not friendly to bear. Damn, you're ugly. Okay, so we'll get some distance. We don't want to fight him in there. Ooh. Okay, let's get our Igni. Light him on fire if we can. Heavy attacks. Well, stun. Ooh. Igni again. Give us a couple of good heavy hits. And again with the Igni. Nice. Flawless. I mean, I didn't take any hits. Maybe not flawless per se. We got more wolves over there. That, they're far enough away. I don't think they matter. There you are. Hello, princess. Come on. Come on, let's go see the Peller. Yeah. This is what I have to do. Save the world. Come on, damn it. Should have guessed Actually, as much. to save my daughter. What's a witcher compared to a patch of wild strawberries? Come on. This way, your grace. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you to follow? <laughs> this is probably the only princess that Witcher Geralt saved. Actually, that's not true. You save a princess for full test. Full Where test daughter is a Striga in the first game, and it's the first, like, cinematic is, uh, really cool, and it's about that. <clears throat> well, good thing we killed that bear. Area. Good thing I ran into him earlier. Do I really have to keep ringing this bell for you um, to follow? So yeah, he has rescued a princess before. That's why he became favored by full test. For saving his daughter from the curse. Because he could have just killed her to end the Striga, but Geralt lifted the curse. You're no roach, but I bet we could be friends in time. <laughs> You've got that all-important quality every roach has to have. You don't talk much. <laughs> so you like your horses because they don't talk. It says a lot about you, Geralt. Princess, flee not from the pillar, for there are wolves about. And a white wolf. Goat of mine, dearest, sweetest goat. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe he does plow that goat. Uh, don't ask, don't tell. Happy for you, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Anna and Tamara, they might be in danger. The White Wolf helped the Pella, and so the Pella shall help him. Blood. We need blood. A living being. Well, I guess Fine. we'll finish. Be right back. We'll finish with this <clears throat> before we help the. or go look for the witch. We'll see how far we can go with the Baron's quest. Will this do? Good sized rat. What is that? Oh, here comes some cool music. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, a frog in my throat. Quite the ritual he's doing here. Damn of me. Blood is God. Blood. I see blood. Who's? No one. No, Tamara. Just a child. A child? A child that lives not, yet did not die. Uh oh. Ah, uh, let's find out it's if over. anything else we is can. Is that it? That is it. Spirits had nothing more to say? Like where they went or where they are now? You came for an augury, an augur I did. They're gone, the child remains. What child? Mentioned a child. Whose? Why, Anna's. Anna was pregnant? She was, and she miscarried. Hmm, Baron didn't mention it. Afraid, perhaps. Or ashamed, or forgetful. Or perhaps he had no wish to remember. Yeah, Can I tell you all this? I mean, I Did think she come I know. here after it happened? Nay, not Anna. It was Magic. the omens told me. Great, so I can be sure it's true. The omens need not your faith to be true. It is you who needs the omens to lead you to truth. Fair enough. Yoda? The Baron have anything to do with his wife's miscarriage? Foul-tempered he is, and he's a fondness for hooch. No doubt makes his temper even fouler. Did he abuse his family? Anna came to you, you must have noticed something. The Pella's old, near blind. But Princess came and licked her hand. So what? <laughs> She's a wise beast. Only comes to those who suffer. Okay. What happened to the child? In a grave what, uh, yeah, throne, exactly. without rite or ceremony, it awoke. Now it wanders, it seeks vengeance. A botchling. White wolf. Wise wolf, catch the botchling. The botchling will help. Lead the wolf to the loved ones. Botchlings suck the blood of pregnant women and eat their fetuses. They don't Ugh. help. It is a being cursed. Got chills and a bit about that. Curses. If the white wolf can't lift it, he should bring me its blood. Blood will always find kindred. Could blood. you imagine coming across a botchling feeding? Ugh. Heard of one witcher well, who lived I want to the curse. curse. I like tried lifting it myself, curses. Though. I know you need to bury it under the threshold. And give it a name. Perform the I'm Roin. The ritual of naming? That's an elven custom. Human, elven, dwarven, ancient. Spirits have no race. They honor not its meaning. Win a spirit's favor, and the spirit shall aid you. Ask, and it will answer. Seek, and it will show you the way. Okay, well then, I guess that's what we need to do. Why do you want its blood? Blood, blood, blood. It binds men for all ages, the living and the dead. Sure, but what do you want to do with it? At times, a century is too short for two brothers to reconcile. One dies before things are set right. The other then brings his blood to the Pella. Mm -hmm. And what does the Pella do? He awaits forefather's eve. 
He mixes the blood with milk, herbs, and hen's feet. He drinks to reconcile the dead with the living. There shall be no forefathers' eve this year, but we'll find a way all the same. Okay. Yeah, what is this forefathers' eve? I hear you right. You mentioned forefathers' eve. Pretty old custom. Thought it had died out. Death lurks in every bog and puddle round here. Folk know they could die, their earthly matters unresolved. Then they require help, or they'll not know peace. Forefathers' Eve must be performed. Light the tallow candles to lead them through the dark. Call them by name, appease their regrets. Only then may they depart in peace. Okay. Whatever I do, that I gotta find the botchling first. Useful, Seek it if at it midnight. works. Near the grave that lies empty. If what you say is true, the Baron ought to know where that grave is. Alright, let's go. We'll read this bestiary entry. Maybe one or two others. Um, okay. Botchlings. Saying a botchling's ugly is like saying shit's not particularly tasty. Can't say it's a lie. But it doesn't exactly convey the whole truth, either. Lambert, Witcher of the Wolf School. Ah, uh, gotta love a good Lambert quote. Botchlings are perhaps the most repulsive creatures a Witcher will ever have the displeasure of meeting. Born of dead, unwanted babies discarded without a proper burial. Their appearance is that of a partially decayed fetus. Their unformed flesh twisted with hate, fear, and malice. These hideous creatures feed on the blood of pregnant women driven by a mad hunger that most often leads to their victim's death. Terrifying. Um, we've read about all of those. And all the specters. Yeah. Okay, we're all caught up on that. What about, um... Characters. Anna Stranger. Geralt did not meet Anna Stranger, the Bloody Baron's wife, when he visited Crow's Perch. Some time before his arrival, this woman had disappeared in unexplained circumstances along with their, her daughter, Tamara. Geralt did, however, receive a detailed description of the missing woman. Anna was a comely, forty-something woman with green eyes, dark hair, or hair as dark as raven wings, which she kept tied in a tight bun behind her head. Geralt discovered that Anna's marital life had not been working out as well as she might have hoped. She had recently been pregnant, but lost her child for unknown reasons shortly before her disappearance. Okay. Well, time to head back, talk to the Baron, I think. Anywhere we can go along the way. Any places to stop in. Uh, I mean, we could hit this one. It's a little out of the way, but not too far. We have a cave here. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll go check this out, since we're pretty nearby. And if it's too high a level, we might have to run away. If you see a red, like, skull, just, just leave. It's not worth it. Really not worth it. Oh, I seem to remember this place. Show me what you got. Get off. Um, there's like a lot of guys on the beach. I'm pretty sure. And it's not healthy to go over there unless you're really ready for it. I don't remember many of these locations with intimate detail, but I do remember coming up on the coast somewhere along here and running into maybe 20 pirates of a, not a high level, but probably higher level than me, like 7 or something. So until you're a little higher level, it's a bit scary. Too many archers. There we 
go. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Hey, hey! Alright. Good job, Geralt. We don't need to loot all of them, I guess. Well, let's take a little peek. Make sure I'm not wrong. Okay, I am wrong, because that looks like drowners. What leveler said drowners? What bombs do we have? Dragon's Dream could be useful. Yeah, that seemed to work. He's got a couple. Oh. Let's take a dose of Thunderbolt. To get swallow ready just in case. Oop. Close one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Aha! Four. One left. I love the battle music. I love all the music in this game. Very, very good music. Ah, uh, that stench. Bang! <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. Hello. How do you like fire? Oh, we got the one that looks a little different. I think I think he does. Okay, it's got like a bigger fin, doesn't he? He seems tougher. Oh, yeah. Dodge that. Well, that went pretty well. We took like one hit. We could eat a little raw meat to fix that. Sodden note. Dear Bessie, we couldn't afford to pay for ourselves and Patrick, so we sent the young lad to you. I know things are tough your way too, that you've three tykes of your own, so no that if I didn't have to, I'd not ask this of you. But here in Velen, well, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Please care for Patrick like your own son. We'll come back for him as soon as the war's over. A thousand thanks. Hannah. P.S. Patrick's got a sack of coin in his bags, enough to pay his guide what we agreed on. You should, shouldn't have to add anything of your own. P.P.S. Patrick's afraid of the dark. If he can, leave a candle burning by his bed. Okay, that's sad, because that's obviously these people were killed, and they're never going to go and find their son. Highwayman's Note and Journeyman Armor Repair Kit. Highwayman's Note. And they say crime doesn't pay. Ha! Never heard greater fucking rubbish in my life. It pays like fucking mad. We took so much loot from that old sod that we won't drink it all up in a year's time. Not, any, not even if we down Mahakaman's spirit like it's water and chase it down dry white from Beauclair. S or with dry white from Beauclair. Some might blather nonsense about the gods punishing us and whatnot, but I'm too old to believe in fairy tales. Well, next stop, Novigrad. We'll sell what we took and live like kings. I guess it would follow that that was the kid. They killed the, yeah, they killed the kid and the person who was supposed to take him. And then they did get their comeuppance from a bunch of drowners. Well, that's sad. Um, we won't head that way. We're going to head right back to Crow's Perch now. Man, that's awful. Terrible people. I understand times are hard, but killing children is not a way to live. Okay, that was quick, painless for me. Probably not for that wild dog that I just killed with my sword. It's not a long ride, so we don't need to like look for a quick travel spot or whatever. Are these bandits? No. So 
some guards? Not so fast, Roach. What's going on here? There's some type of shop. Right here? Let's talk Buy to this guy. Just perusing. Uh well we'll play Gwent first. Wouldn't mind a few because rounds of cards. Gwent. Obviously you gotta play all the Gwent that there is. Um we don't want the monster deck or the Nilfgaard deck. We want the Northern Realms deck. At least for right now. Uh do I need the fog? I'm not gonna use the fog. Let's keep the clear weather decoy. Who are we playing? Nilfgaard? Yeah, decoy could be handy. And Maybe we'll trade out one of these five front row guys. Who do we get? Another five, so fair enough. We will use our spy right away. Hopefully he'll revive him or something and we can decoy him or he'll use his own spy. And we'll decoy that. And we'll get more and more and more cards. Yeah, no, we'll play this and uh, get two more cards. Now, could we win this without investing too much? He's got 11, so not really. We'd have to in invest, like, at least three cards. Uh, or a really valuable card. No, even then, it's got to be three, so we will pass it. Gets to start first. I'll raise you or see your uh, whoever that guy is and raise you a best. He passed, okay. What's my least valuable card I can play? Well, that would be you, Sheldon. And we're gonna get a card back, so we'll be one card up on him. And it's a decoy, so hopefully he revives. A spy or something. Let's put out one of these guys. I think we got this one in the bag. We'll just be careful about how we play. Make him put out as many cards as possible. We could do two revives or whatever with this person if we want to use the decoy, but I'll, I'll wait as long as possible in case they play one of those um, spy cards in their deck or some such. We'll save the clear weather for the end. Because he might have another weather card, we'll see. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So let's double our... Let's double this row. Got two cards left. So we're gonna revive somebody. Bass. I should have revived the other guy, but I have a feeling I'm going to revive both of them anyway. Um, so yeah, let's, he's only got one card left. Let's clear weather. His last card was clear weather, okay. Well, I don't need to do it then, but I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this just to maximize my number out of pure anality. Is that a word? Anal? Being anal? Oh, did I, like, glitch that out? There we go. 80, not bad. What did we get? Nails? Bye, uh, you're just perusing. Oh, is this, like, maybe the... Show me what you've got on Smith? from town or something, and he's just at home. Huh. Well, 
sell. Um, I guess sell that just to get rid of the weight. And we're selling those for the weights as well. I'm gonna pick up lots of loot anyway. So long. I want more maps. Darn it. Okay. Let's continue on. To Crow's Perch. Yeah, that's what it's called. To Crow's Perch. Come on now. Don't duh. Don't fail me now, Roach. You stop all the time and I don't get it. Oh yeah, we're supposed to fix those. Uh, shrines, Lightning like the strike. one we just walked by. Oh, what's going on? Let's have a quick save here. Just in case, you never know what could happen. It's quite the fire raging up there. I guess good thing we came back right away. That bridge is taken out. There's no guards at the front. Uh, oh, there's one guard. Giddy up. Oh, there's two. They're just like they live inside each other. <laughs> that sounds kind of uh, non-heterosexual. Yeah, that makes a good. That'll help a lot. Just stand there and cry. That's just great. <laughs> like, why are you crying? It's not your house. Or you could be getting a bucket and helping. Okay, I can't get through there on the horse for some reason. Fair enough. What level is this quest? Make sure it's not like a level 8. It's a level 6. That's a little high, considering we haven't quite hit five yet. But I think we can do it. Another quick save. Now that we're so close. That's. Oswin. That's really roaring that fire. Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him he... and the horses. Uh, he's probably a rapist, but... See what I can do. Hurry Can't leave now, any man quick. to burn alive. Okay. Maybe we'll get Quen going. I remember that I need to smoke. Got to hurry. Do that. Okay. Where can I climb down? There you go. Do we get him? Do we open it up or do we not save him? I might have to reload if I didn't save him because I wanted to. Ha 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 ha! We've a hero in our midst! You've earned yourself a barrel of Lyrian! I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Not Don't suggesting play me for anything. A fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Ah! They right. ran from it, didn't they? Lying sick! Oh. Yeah, take that, buddy. Fairy. Okay. Get another one in here. Yeah, there we go. Spinning back fist. Okay, come on. Bring it on, buddy. Here's the last one for you. Boom. Knee to the kisser. 
He started the fire. Did we save that guy's brother? If not, I guess I'll sit down, replay it off camera, and just fix that part. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara, not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Yeah, let's hear about your it. Wife. How'd she make Why don't you, you justify beating Too your wife to me? In the soup. Socks never darned. Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Yeah, well, you expect, expect me to believe, believe you didn't you beat your daughter, to too? Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Oh, that's Make it a nice sound place. like she led a charmed life. Put your if that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. All right. You knew they'd run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? The one that you are. Um. Uh. uh let's just find out the facts. Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn. Breaches heavy with my own piss. A large That's bump a nice on my head. To be. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Yeah, that's all you had before, really. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. <laughs> I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. That's when you gave her a miscarriage. Well, maybe he didn't do it. Tomorrow, present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The yeah, sight of her always calmed fault. me. That's a what happened position next? for your daughter to have to be next. In. It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber. 
But Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets. Dead. Uh, no matter what a and prick you was. was. Doing. I don't envy that. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. Yeah, I bet. My legs gave out. Enough to make you sober? I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yeah. yet. Well, the amulet maybe, and the war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. Mm. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. Well, I my do. child was dead. Yeah, I feel your pain, man. I sympathize. I do. It's Fuck hard you. thing. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking what? Uh, you don't really need to know. I don't think it's worth it. Details you don't need to know. Yeah. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Yeah, we'll do that. I've decided what I'll do. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. <laughs> um, well, we're gonna end the episode, so we'll come get him Need later. Need to tend to something first. Be quick! And me? What am I to do in the meantime? S sober sober up. up? Yeah, no doubt. Been soaking yourself for a long time, my man. That's no way to be. My real father was like that. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. This is Father of Two and Geralt, signing off. Mm -hmm.